Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. Today we are going to see traffic light control using sequencer instruction in PLC. I know friends, this is very common example, but we are going to do this in different way. Generally, everybody uses the timer, but we are going to use this incremental drum sequencer instruction for doing this project. So you will learn something new. So first of all, before doing the programming, we need to understand the working or the process of our project. So as soon as the user will switch on this button, here I have shown one timer so that you can see the timing of each light. First 52 seconds, this green light will be on, that is horizontal green light will be on. During that, vertical red light will be on. After 52 seconds, this green light will flash for 5 seconds. Okay. And after that, the yellow light will on for 3 seconds. So, indicating to the drivers that this signal is going to be off or this signal is going to be stop. So, drivers will come to no. So, the total duration for these two lights is 60 seconds that you can see from here 52 seconds green on 5 seconds green flash and 3 seconds yellow on so this is total 60 seconds duration so during this 60 seconds the vertical red light will be on so this is how we are going to do programming or our this is our logic after 60 seconds what is happening the horizontal line has red light on okay and the vertical road or vertical lane the green light is on for 52 seconds now the same process will repeat after 52 seconds this green light will flash for 5 seconds and after that 5 seconds this yellow light will be on for 3 seconds so again here the total duration is 60 seconds and during this 60 seconds the horizontal then red light will be on. So this is the logic or working of our project. Now we will understand the wiring required to create our project. So as you can see, we only have one input. So in the digital inputs of the PLC, the sourcing terminal we will connect it to ground terminal of our SMPS. In the 24 volt supply, we will connect it to one terminal of our switch. This is this will be simple selector switch on off switch and it's another terminal we will connect it to x0 position we will understand the output wiring required for our project so this is the digital output terminals of our plc again in the common c0 we will connect ground terminal of our smps now what we will do we will connect we have total six lights red one yellow light one green light one this is for horizontal road and red light yellow light two and green light two this is for vertical road so total we have six outputs so in each output at the one terminal of led we will connect the 24 volt supply other terminal of led one we will connect it to y0 output similarly other terminal of yellow light one we will connect it to y1 this green light we will connect it to Y2. You have to remember the address because while doing the programming this address is very important. After that here this will be connected to Y3, this will be Y4 and this will be connected to Y5. Okay. Now we will understand the logic that is required to create a ladder programming. So what we will do, first of all we will move the timing values i remember friends we are not using the timers but we have the timing sequence for each output so this data we have to move in data registers so what we will do we will only move the timing values for green light and yellow light so this timing sequence is shown over here so here i have used six data registers so in the first data register that is going to be used for green light 1 that is horizontal green light 52 seconds after that 
this represents green light 1 for 5 seconds so i will not write g1 in the data i will just write 52 in the data register this is for your understanding so in the second data register i will move 5 that means 5 means g1 flashing time after that in the third data register i will move 3 3 means 3 seconds for yellow light 1 similarly now you will be thinking what about the red light so that i will discuss over in the fourth point right now only understand the green and the yellow light so this is complete for horizontal lane now in the fourth register again i will write 52 in data register for second green light in the fifth data register i will write 5 for second green light flashing and finally in the sixth register i will write 5 for second yellow light okay sorry here we have to write 3 seconds so again in the second yellow light we will write 3 now as soon as the switch is on we have to give 1 second pulse to counter how we will give this we will use special register M1013 which will give 1 second pulse to counter and counter starts counting. Besides this, we will also start incremental drum sequence instruction. So what this instruction will do based on this data registers, it will compare the value of counter and when this counter value becomes equal to this data register, it will own internal relays that address we will give now we will understand what will be the logic for the red light it is very simple what we have to do we have to check whether the green light or yellow light of horizontal lane is on if horizontal green and yellow light is on that means the red light of vertical road should be on in the same procedure when the vertical green or yellow light is on that means horizontal red light should be on this will be also more clear to you while doing the ladder programming so now friends i will open my isp soft software from here we have to click on the new file yes so first of all we will write the name of our project house your folder and click ok so as usual first of all we will write device commit list by double clicking over it let's maximize this we have only used x0 as a start stop button so here i am going to write it now as i have explained you earlier in the ppt we have to remember the address so y0 is our red light 1 so i will write red 1 or what we can do we can write like h h means horizontal light okay similarly i1 is my yellow light or horizontal road so again i will write h and y2 is our green light or horizontal road so i am denoting it by h now y3 is my red light for vertical lane so i am writing over here v similarly here y4 will be my yellow light you can denote it by h or v in the ppt i have denoted it with one and 2 okay so here also let us write 1 you can denote it anything you like the ppt i have shown it like 1 and 2 so understand it like this these three lights are for road 1 and these three lights are for road 2 
similarly here green light for road 2 first of all let us go to d data so we will use six data register now first data register is for green light on so i will just write green light on second data register is for green light flash so i will write green flash everywhere i have to write one that means first green light on first green light flash and uh, first yellow light on so these three data registers are used for these three okay now so in this data register we will move time okay now in d4 what we will do we will move the timing value of green light to on here second green light flash timing we will write this will be second yellow light on timing so in this data register we are going to move timing values now come to here in the m so i am going to use m1 relay so when the counter value again here also we will write counter okay so when the counter value becomes equal to this data register what we will do we will write starting address m1 so m1 relay will be activated similarly if the counter value becomes equals to this value then second relay will be on so this second relay m2 will be on and by using this we will on our or we will do flashing of our leds so so same things we will write in our internal relays okay so you will better understand it so we have written the device command list now i will go to programs click on it and right click on it and then click on new file just click ok let us maximize this working area and also zoom this so first of all our first step was to move timing values in data register press enter so select a contact from here and click over here write its address m1002 so what is this at every scan cycle this bit becomes on so it will execute this code here what we want to do we want to move data we can go to functions then we can select the move function then we can select all and from here we can write mov and then you can insert so this is little long process if you want to do little fast just click over here and from keyboard only just write mov move click space now what we want to move we want to move 52 where we want to move so we have to write the destination so d1 is our destination and just press enter so you can see our block is created so when you want to save time you can use this method also we have to insert the six move boxes so every time it is not feasible to go over the functions block and do the same process all over again so now you can see this move is selected or if the cursor is here or here again you can repeat the process because we have to repeat this six times now we will move five in data register two so you can see it is created in the parallel similarly keep typing mov that is move now we have to move three in data register three only press enter 
So again, so this is for green on green flash and this is for yellow on. Now again, second green light 52 seconds on in D4 register. So this is our source and this is our destination. Simply, it is not hard to remember. Again, write MOV. Now we want to move phi for flashing in data register phi. And in last one, 3 for second yellow light in data register 6. So you can see easily we have moved 6 data in 6 data registers. Now we will insert a new network from here. Write a network comment. Start counter. You can say give pulses to counter. Press enter. First of all, we will check whether the process is on or not. So how we can know that? Just we can use no contact of x0 bit. If the process is on, this bit will become on and this code will be executed. Now don't forget to select over here. Click on here. Now insert a, another contact. Control Z because we want in series. So when this series sign appears and write its address. M1013. This is the special register. You can see it is one second clock pulse by default. It is from Delta PLC. Now, what we want to do if the process is on, then it will give one second pulse where to the counter. So, here we have to insert counter. So, go to functions block, select all types, and here write CNT. Press insert. So counter block is insert that. Again, I am control Z it. Without going to functions block, if you want to insert the counter, you can just type CNT from keyboard, then write your counter number and then your counter value that is how much you want to count and press enter. So this is the also another way to insert the blocks. So if you learn this, you can do the things quickly. So uh, this is I have written randomly because uh, what we want to do our value will never reach 2000. Before reaching 2000 it will reset and start from beginning. That you will better understand uh, in the next step. You can also write 100 also because our maximum counting value is 52. So anything greater than 52 you can write over here. Now insert a network from here. Here we will do what we will do. We will start our NCD instruction. So I am just write in short form because its full form is very large. NCD instruction. I'll explain you this in detail. First, select contact from here. So this will be our start stop button. If the process is start, then only this instruction will be executed. So now uh, we can write directly over here, but let me go to here functions block, the old types and here just write incremental that is incremental that means inc and drum sequence instruction so D, this is its mnemonics you have to remember and press insert. So our block is inserted, its full form is incremental drum sequencer instruction. So in the S1, here we have to enter the starting data address. So you can see this is our data. This is our sequence actually. So its starting address is D1. Okay. So in the S1, we will write D1. This is the starting address of our sequence. Now S2 means comparator. What we will compare? So you can see. We are using counter. We will use counter value to compare with the data in D1. And here it is asking for how much data you want to compare. So again, come to here. You can see there is six data or six steps in our sequence. So here we will write six. We want to compare six data or there is six sequences. This is our output. So for simplicity what I am doing, I am writing M1. That means 
when the first sequence is executing it will own our first relay starting from first relay if d2 sequence is executing then it will turn on m2 relay if d3 sequence is executing it will turn on m3 relay in this way there are six data register so in the output there will be six internal relays from m1 to m6 okay but here we have to only write the starting address of our output so this is the incremental drum sequence instruction now you just have to write code for each light so insert a network and here i will write green light 1 because this code is to turn on green light 1 press enter when green light 1 is on so there are the two conditions first when the green light is on and second it flashes so in this both condition the green light is on so what we will do first select a contact from here the m1 is on means our green light is on so that is the first condition after that what we want to do we want to flash this so when the m2 is on we want to flash our output first of all let me select the output coil so you can visualize now again select contact when the m2 is on then also green light is on but flashing so first of all create a parallel path and write its address m2 this is green light is our y3 sorry y2 So first green light m2 is on then green light should flash so it will not flash by default so here we have to insert a series contact if m2 is on then we have to give flashing pulse so again we will use m1013 so what we will do if m1 is on it will continue on if m2 is on then it will give one second pulse so it will like flashing right simple to understand this is all about green light one insert a network now here we will write yellow light one so again m1 green light on m2 green light flash m3 that means the yellow light m3 means you can see from here data register 3 3 seconds yellow light okay so it is very simple just select contact give its address m3 here select the output give its address y1 that is our yellow light one you can see yellow light one over here insert a network this is our red light one light one okay enter i will select the output and here also i will give its address what is address y0 for red light one you can see red light one okay here i am not writing anything because this i will explain you just after few seconds now insert a network now we want write code for green light 2 here we will write a code just in seconds before that now understand m1 green light 1 on m2 green light 1 flash m3 green light m3 4 yellow light yellow 1 light now m4 when the m4 will be on here our green light 2 will be on so first let me select Here I will write if M4 relay becomes on, we have to turn our green light 1. Oh, sorry, green light 2. We have to uh, do this. Here it is light. Okay, go to programs. So m4 is on then our green light 2 will be on 
after that M5 will become on. So when M5 is on, green light should flash. So similar to this, we will write code over here. Parallel to this, here will be M5. If M5 is on, we will keep one series block, which will be our M1013. So if M5 is on, green light will flash. And what is finally insert a network? This is yellow light 2. If M6 is on, that means yellow light 2 is on. That is again simple. It's on, then our Y4. That means yellow light 2 on. Now again a network. This is the last step. Light 2 on. Press enter. So now we will write code for red light, both red lights. So you observe over here, green light 1 and yellow light 1 is on. During this period, the red light 2 should be off. That means M1 on or M2 on or M3 is on, then red light 2 should be on. So here what we will do, select a contactor and I will write 3 blocks in parallel and one output for red light 2 and I will give address to each input M1 or M2 or M3 is on. At that time my Y3 red light 2 should be on. You can read from here also. First green or first yellow light is on. At that time my red light 2 should become on. Similarly, if the second green light or second yellow light is on, then my first red light should be on. So you can see from here, if M4 or M5 or M6 is on, at that time this red light should become on. So again, I will insert three parallel contacts and give its address M4, M5 and M6. So how this instruction will work? First of all, when the start button is pressed, it will start this instruction and you can see over from here also, the counter value will increase. So what it will do? It will keep comparing the counter value with the data register in the D1. As you can see over here in the D1 right now there is 52. So let us say initially it is 0, then 1, 2, 3 and the counter value is increasing. When this counter value, so right now it is less than 52, so M1 relay will be on. So it will turn on our green light. Now as soon as the value of counter becomes 52, that means equal to the value in data register 1, what it will do? It will reset the counter and it will start the another internal relay M2 and here what it will do? Now this counter value will be compared with data register 2. So here there is 5 in D2. So initially 0 then 1 counter value increases 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So during this period M2 will be on. As soon as this becomes 5 that means equal to D2. What it will do? It will reset the counter and it will turn on M3. So in this way, it will compare the data register values. Each time when it becomes equals to data register value, counter resets and respective output is changed. Okay. So this is the working of INCD instruction. So friends, this is the whole ladder programming for traffic light control using drum sequence instruction. It's HMI designing and simulation we will see in the next part of this video. If you want to learn more examples like this, just like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Meet you in the next video.